and this interview from Diane Diamond, a special correspondent for Entertainment Tonight, who's been following the story very closely for a long time now. Yes, good morning, Diane. Good morning. So what was the most surprising thing that you learned that you didn't know in hearing Real Hunter speak to Oprah? Oh, well, that she, three things, that she still trusts John Edwards after he's been known to be a proven liar, that they thought it was a good idea not to use birth control while he was running for president, and that they thought it would be a good idea to videotape their intimacies right before the Iowa caucuses. So he, according to her, was well aware that they were taping that Oh That's yes, famous. I have talked to people who have seen the tape and there's no doubt the camera is trained right on him. So he knew, he, he played to the camera. What were your impressions of her watching her in this interview and her attitude towards this whole thing? Yeah, she talked a lot about truth and reality and all the while living a lie. I, I just kept thinking in my mind, this is a delusional woman. She does not live on the same sort of plane that I do. I looked at her, her body language was very sort of zen-like and earth mother and everything's just fine. Well, it's not fine. You know, there's a whole uh, household back at the Elizabeth uh, Edwards house that is devastated by this. She doesn't seem to think that she's responsible. She doesn't think she's a homewrecker, but in fact she is. Well, we remember when Andrew Young came out with his story and his mm -hmm. tell-all book, a lot of people accused him of lying. Do you think that Riel Hunter corroborated his story? Everything. Everything. I was so surprised when Oprah said, and so it was a sex tape, yes, it was a sex tape. Mm. And he took his vows with Elizabeth even though he had just learned you were pregnant, yeah. What'd you think? Well, it hurt. But she still loves him. And you know, in matters of the heart, how can you explain it? But I just... Um, I thought she was kind of a self-justifiable person. A lot of people came away with a, a bad image of her, especially after that GQ shoot where she posed in that men's shirt with all those stuffed animals around her. And no pants. And no pants. I was yeah. thinking maybe this was an attempt to rehab her image. Do you think she did that? You know, I've covered these kind of stories for a long time, and in any of these big public dramas, everybody's got to, at some point, spill their guts. Andrew Young wrote a book. She had, went to GQ. That kind of bit her in the you know what uh -huh. because of those pictures. And so now, what else did she have left to do but to talk to the queen of talk, Oprah? And I think this was really important to her. Even John Edwards, whom she still loves and says loves her, said, please don't do this interview, and she did it anyway. Mm. I wonder if it wasn't um, in part so that her daughter would have a record of somebody, somebody saying something nice about her daddy. Oh, all right, maybe. Diane Diamond, thank you so much. You bet. A lot happens early on The Early Show, weekday mornings on CBS.